Okay, now th I think this is a very important video because finally we are going to answer the main questions of this set of questions that I got. I'm going to answer this question and in the meantime I'll explain the, the procedure here. How many permutations of order 6 are there in S10? So I'm going to divide this into two columns. Okay. 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 I made a quick division here between the disjoint cycle partitions and the number of permutations. The question is how many permutations of order 6 are there in S10? First, I'm going to to do the disjoint cycle partition here. So basically, you want to break S10 and S10 will have um, 10 partitions but we want since we are looking for permutations of order 6 one of the partitions has to, has to have 6 uh, partitions so 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 ok, so this will be 1, right? ok now I have, since it is S10 I got 6, so I have 4 more and so here I'm going to use 3 1, 2, th 3 so 6 plus 3 is 9 and now we have the last one here ok, so I can partition this in um, disjoint cycle partitions 6, 3 and 1 ok now on this side but what about the number of permutations well I have 10 elements right so I'm going to do combinations of 10 elements in 6 so I want this number is going to give me how many sets of 6 elements I can have order doesn't matter here from a set of 10 elements ok uh, do not forget that you can also write this like this combination of 10 elements 6 by 6 so this will be 10 factorial 6 factorial so this 10 is this one 6 is this one and 10 minus 6 factorial ok so basically 10 factorial 6 factorial 4 factorial you can this is easy and if you don't know this you can learn this quickly lots of things on discrete mathematics and stuff like that on, on the internet so the 10 elements of S10 this will give me the number of sets of 6 elements that I can choose and then of course I have to choose the the, the order but I see this as choosing this 6 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 from a round table ok or from a cycle you can you can see this this way so that that will be it so this will be the number of sets the number of sets of 6 elements that you can get from a set of 10 elements and then the order will be 6 factorial right dividing 6 it's like sitting people around a round table and not 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 not in a, 
a straight table. Okay. Okay, we still have four elements more, right? So what about the other four? Well, I have to put them here, right, in the second partition. So that will be combinations of four elements. So I need sets of three elements. How many can I form from a set with four elements? That This number will give me that. And of course, three factorial equals three. So I calculate this quickly before and I got this number. Please check if this is correct. Uh, I did it quickly. Okay, so this is 2,000 and 201,600. Okay, so these are the permutations of order 6. One of the permutations, okay, this is one of the permutations. Meaning first you choose a partition, a, of course, disjoint partitions, okay. And then from that partition you choose another, the, the permutations. Okay, let's do another one. So let's do another, um, we can do another partition and we can do another permutation, right? Of course. Okay, so what other partition can we do? I suggest doing more or less the same. Okay. Um, so one, two, three, four, five, six. This was 3 and 1. Now we can do this as 2, 2. So the partitions will be 6, 2, 2. We can also partition 10 in cycles of 6, 2, 2. Okay, now we have to calculate the permutations. Okay, so how many permutations we have here? Same combinations of 10. 6 to 6, 6 factorial dividing 6. Now the re we have 4 elements here. So 4, we have to choose 2 elements from a set of 4. And that will be 2 factorial 2. Right? Still 2 other elements. So we are going to choose uh, 2 elements from a set of 2. Okay, we do we do this nevertheless. Okay, so that will be two factorial dividing two. But a small fact here. Um, at the end, you have to divide by because these two they are the same. Okay, so you are double counting here. Okay, see this like in. What's the word for it? Like um, probability or um, counting. Uh, like if you have the word um, uh, Anna, for instance. Um, how many? How many words can you do with these three letters? We would say three factorial. Okay, but two is repeating, right? So you're double counting. So this two is repeating. Is repeating. You divide by two. Okay. So you do the same here. Okay. Don't forget that two is repeating here. So you have to divide by two. So I think I don't. I don't need to partition into these uh, squares anymore, right? You got the idea by now. So, another way of partitioning the, the, the 10 set would be 6, 2, 1, 1, right? So, 6, 2, 1, 1. Now you have to, to calculate the number of partitions. So, 10. 
you choose six elements from ten and four elements you choose two elements from a set of four two factorial dividing two and and that's it right you can write combinations of two one to one and all that but it will be one okay so um, I think I did not yes I did not calculate this um, I think I got something for this I got something like seven five zero 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 please check that okay for the this calculation okay I got that number here I got one five one two zero zero and it's better that you do these calculations right because you you have to add them all at the end okay so another partition could be what for instance six one 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 that's a, an obvious one okay so that will be combinations of ten six to six and all these are one so this is really easy okay please do the calculations now I partition this in three three two two three plus three six plus four ten right so now it has to be combinations of ten three this first one right 3 factorial dividing 3 so I already choose 3 so now I have to choose from 7 3 and 3 factorial dividing 3 oh let me put immediately 1 over 2 factorial because I don't want to, to double count here now so 3 plus 3 is 6, I still have 4, right? I have to choose 2 from 4, so that will be 2 factorial dividing 2. And the last one is 2, 2, so that will be 2 factorial dividing 2. I'm double counting here again, so 1 over 2 factorial. And that will be... Um, very strange, same number, 25, 200. Please check if these numbers are correct, okay? Okay. So you got the idea by now. So now 3, 3, the partition will be 3, 3, 2, 1, 1. So you got the idea by now. Just do the do the math. Okay, all well, this is obvious, right? Three, three, two, one, one. Please check this number. Three plus two five seven nine ten, right? So 10, 3, 3, down, 7, 2, 2, okay, so this is 5, 7, 9, here, be careful, because we have 1, 2, 3, avoid double counting, you have to divide by 3 factorial, like in that word that I gave before, and I'm still getting 25,200, very strange this. Okay, uh, here the same. So at the end, 
you add all these numbers okay and the number of partitions that was the original question the number of partition the, I'm sorry uh, I said partition so many times that I have the word in my mouth now. the number of permutations of order 6 in S10 of course is this huge number I hope I did not make any mistake in my calculations okay so first check and do all the disjoint cycle partitions here on the left and then according to the partition you have calculate the number of permutations add them all and that's the way you answer to this sort of questions